Welcome back. It's time to talk business. The central bank is set to launch a central depository securities platform to enable Kenyans buy and trade government bonds. The move is expected to enable more Kenyans participate in the bond market, even as the government looks to increase domestic borrowing. Noah Kipyemboi tells us more. The government has over the last 10 years sought to tap into the locally available funds by encouraging more Kenyans to buy into the bond market. In 2017, the then Jubilee government launched the Emma Kiba bond under which Kenyans could serve as little as 3,000 shillings through a USSD card and M-Pesa payments. The bond was however met with skepticism amid low subscriptions. Next. The government lowered the minimum amount required to buy a bond to 50,000 shillings. But for most Kenyans, access to government bonds has remained a challenge due to its restrictive nature requiring near physical appearances to buy and sell bonds. This could however soon be a thing of the past with the rollout of a digital central depository securities platform. Through which all T-bills, all T-bonds are not only registered but you can access them. And, uh, and you can purchase, etc. So it will be a significant, uh, let's say, refresh and indeed step forward. Expect to see more activity in that market, given that now the platform will be available for retailers and even the diaspora market who maybe could not be able to come to Kenya or send someone else to come to Kenya. We see the diaspora being able to access the market, being able to bid, being able to participate even more in the debt market in Kenya. This comes at a time the Kenya Kwanzaa government plans to borrow 580 billion shillings from the domestic market to fill a budget deficit. It's a move we'd expect as the government pushes to bring in more activity and more participation into the market. So reason number one we'd say is to populate or to ramp up the participation of the locals as well as the diaspora. Whether Kenya will be offering a dollar denominated uh, bond locally. With the dollar shortage hitting many developing economies, making it easier for the Kenya diaspora to invest in bonds might help solve the challenge. I also encourage maybe Kenyan diaspora to be able to come and invest in those, in, in those bonds and that will increase the supply of foreign exchange. We, we are in need of dollars, dollar inflows into the country in terms of we need to repay our debts which are mostly denominated in dollars, that is for the external borrowing. We also have a bond, a euro bond that is due in June of 2024. So we expect all this activity to be geared towards mobilizing more borrowing or more funding to the government. The government has a 4.75 trillion shilling domestic debt of which 85% are bonds and 12.7% treasury bills with majority being held by banks and pension funds. The new central securities depository is said to see more individuals participate more in the debt market. Now keep Kamboi, KTN News. Still in business, National